Good morning, PHS. Today is April 20th, 2017. I'm Devin Gritton. And I'm Matt Reisner. PHS, let's get the show on the road. PTV starts right now. with your SRT meetings. Bridge Bust, you guys are meeting in room 218. Newspaper is meeting in room 120. Hard Club, you guys are meeting in the library. And from 3.30 to 5.30, Robotics, you guys are having an after-school meeting in room 141. Sophomores and juniors, listen up. PHS is looking for mentors for the incoming freshman class. Students will be hosting a freshman orientation day July 26 for incoming freshmen. PHS is looking for upperclassmen who can help show them the ropes and help them make a successful transition to PHS. Mentor training will be held from 9 to 12 on Tuesday, July 25th, with the orientation on Wednesday, July 26th, from 8.30 to 1. Attendance at training is mandatory to participate in the orientation day. This can count towards your volunteer hours or as community service. PHS will be working with coaches and staff to make sure you'll be excused from practices. Students, for the link to sign up, check your email or visit the PHS Twitter or Facebook account. Prom is less than two weeks away and tickets are still on sale. Tickets are $35 each, but on April 24th, this coming Monday, the prices jump to $45. You may purchase tickets during your lunch hour. Remember, if you plan on bringing a guest from outside of PHS, arrangements need to be made in the front office. All guests must be under 21 years of age and provide a photo ID at the night of prom. Need scholarship money for college? Want to meet girls from other schools? Want to have the opportunity to eat all the food you want at the Blueberry Festival for free? Applications are currently being accepted for the 2017 Miss Blueberry Festival Queen Pageant. The pageant will be held on June 17, 2017 at Argus High School. Applications can be picked up in the guidance office or you can go to blueberryfestival.org and print one deadline for the applications to be turned into the Marshall County Blueberry Festival office is May 12, 2017. Any questions, please contact the Blueberry office at 574-936-5020. Are you in need of a summer job? Culver Academy has several jobs open from camp instructors to working at the campus store and a bunch more. To apply, go to culver.org slash jobs. And the City of Plymouth Park Department is hiring. They're in need of lifeguards and camp counselors, just to name a few jobs. And Discovery Academy Daycare is also in need of babysitters. If you are interested, they want you to stop by those places. Before we switch gears to PTV Sports, PTV's Juan Garcia joins us for another edition of his movie review segment. This week, Juan gives you his take on a newly released blockbuster, The Fate of the Furious. All right, let's review The Fate of the Furious. The Fate of the Furious is the eighth installment in this franchise. Universal hired a new director to do this movie. His name is F. Gary Gray. You might know him as the Straight of Compton director. I don't take these movies seriously. I just go watch these movies purely of entertainment. I'm the friend of the franchise, especially the last three movies, because of the stuff they do and how crazy and how far they go doing these movies. The thing that I like about this movie was Vin Diesel as Toretto. I think this is what, what was one of his best performances in the whole franchise. And you actually, actually care about his story in this movie. I love Jason Statham in this movie. He brings pretty cool action scenes to the movie. And he also gives a good performance in this movie. Another thing that I liked about this movie was the action scenes. Of course, the action scenes was going to be good because the last three was just crazy so and this movie gets crazier so yeah the action scenes in the movie was really good but the thing that i love the most was shelly Theron as cypher she is the best villain in this franchise without a doubt and she brought a really really good performance in this movie i thought she would cash in like the movie i thought that she would be bad and, and just i don't know just really bad but he she brings a really really good performance i was very very pleased now, the thing that I like about this movie was the jokes. I think it was just falling flat. You know, the, fi the fifth one, the sixth one, the seventh one was really funny, but this one just falling flat. Tyrese Gibson tries really hard to be funny, but uh, just couldn't, couldn't exceed, you know, couldn't beat his performances and his, and his jokes in the fifth one, the sixth one, the seventh one. 
The other thing that I like was um, Scott Eastwood in this movie. I thought he didn't really do anything in the movie. The story to him, uh, you know, you don't really care about him. So that's one thing I didn't like about this movie as well. So with that being said, I'll give The Fate of the Furious a 7.5. Thanks, Juan, for giving us the scoop. If you want a movie for Juan to review, hit him up on via Twitter at jgarcia2418x. Starting off PTV Sports, let's see that beautiful PTV Sports rundown to see what we have lined up for tonight. The boys golf team is teeing up against Adams, CMA, and Triton High at here at home in Plymouth at 5 p.m. Our varsity softball team goes head to head against Rochester at home at 5 p.m. as well. The freshman Pilgrims baseball team is on the road in South Bend taking on St. Joe at 5.30. And our boys track team is traveling to Goshen at 5.30 p.m. Junior Pilgrim high jumper Nathan Patterson competed individually Saturday at Lawrence Central High School. Not only did Nathan win the high jump event, he broke his own school record again, jumping a phenomenal 7 feet 2 inches. His previous record was 7 feet 1 inch. Congratulations, Nate. By the way, Nate is up for the Indiana Athlete of the Week award, so he needs your help. All you have to do is vote for him. He is up against 16 other high school athletes here in the Hoosier State. Miles Split caught up with Nate, and let's see what he had to say. Jumped over seven feet this year, right? Yeah, I jumped seven one earlier indoor. Okay. So. so tell us your mindset coming into a, a meet like this. It's nice and warm out, a little windy, but great conditions and competing against a solid field. What, what were you thinking? Yeah, um, I just told my coach coming here today, all I need is the weather, and I can get it done. And had way better weather um, this Thursday. I jumped six ten on first clearance, and it was 50 and windy, and I knew I could do this. So you know what, your name, you're coming up, uh, you're, you're emerging into a superstar here on the high jump scene. Um, early this year, there was a guy that jumped seven five. Does yeah. jumping those high heights, does that give you hope that you can, you know, eventually get up into the stratosphere like some of these other guys? Yeah, uh, I mean, of course. Um, it's just getting there and knowing when to start is another big thing. Um, my legs just got tired. Uh, I was feeling good jumping 7-1 and 7-2, but 7-3 my legs were dead. Where do you normally start your high up? Um, depending on the day, um, usually about 6-4 to 6-6. Six, six. Wow, that's just skip to 6-8. Usually everybody's out by that time, are you, yeah. so you're just jumping by yourself normally? Yeah. So what kind of mindset do you have going in knowing that most of the competition is done? Um, I just go out there and I try to get better, uh, better myself. Even if there's people left, I know I, what I can do. So I'm, I'm just out there trying to get better. Voting ends tonight at 9 p.m. To vote for him, log on to the URL you see right now below my head. One more thing, you can vote repeatedly for Nate. All right, guys, it's almost that time of the show, PTV Trivia Time. But before the big question, let's recap the previous PTV Trivia Time question from last week. The question was, name the four houses in Harry Potter series. The answers were Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Miss Faith Collings' room won the last week's question, and her classroom was chosen by a random selector app. Congratulations and a big shout out to our photojournalist, Alex Walter, for capturing all the action for us. Also, thank you to the dozens of classrooms who took part in submitting your answers last week. So PHS, we've had a lot of segments come and go, but on this show starting next week, our very own Devin Grant has starred her own segment called Finish That Song. So beware in the hallways, we're looking for you to jump right in because for the rest of the year, PTV wants to go out with a bang. 
Hey, real quick, we're trying to recruit for next year's class, so just hit up our teacher, Judy Likowski, via email if you are interested. She'll make sure you get into the third hour radio and television class or the PTV marketing promotional class during the second hour. I'm Devin Gritton, and that's a wrap for this week's PTV News. We hope you had as much fun watching it as we did sitting here on the set making it. And I'm Matt Reisner. Tune in next week for another edition of PTV News. Have a great day, everyone, and don't forget to vote for Nate.